why this video is all about how I've reduced how much I procrastinate. Obviously I do still procrastinate a fair bit. I'm just really good at it. So that's why I've found ways around it because otherwise I would continue watching videos on 57 different ways to cook an egg. That's half an hour of my life I'm never getting back. So I've split these tips up into three sections. Here goes. So the first section is how I actually get started with working. When I'm really not in the mood to revise or do some homework or whatever, I try to give myself something really easy and really achievable to start with. And then I kind of get the satisfaction of ticking off that quite passive and short thing. And then I'm like, maybe I can do something a little bit harder if I could do that. And then I just sort of get in a flow with it. And another way that I make myself actually get started is by properly setting myself up so that I don't delay by going, oh, I just need to go get some water. Oh, I left my calculator in my bag and then just putting it off for another 10 minutes by doing things that I don't really need to do. So the next section is about how I actually stay in a productive mindset once I've eventually got myself started on working. So with breaks, which obviously you need to stay focused and so you can concentrate, I try not to go on my phone because knowing me I will just get trapped scrolling for days. So I try to do other things like putting clothes away, which I know sounds really boring. And honestly it is and that's why it works because it takes your mind off of the work. But putting clothes away is honestly my least favourite thing to do. Like I have a pile behind me to put away after this video and I'm dreading it. Am I procrastinating it by filming this? <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> So it means that I'm actually quite happy to leave doing that job and go back to some maths homework. So, you know, in a way it's kind of motivational as well. And if I'm having a day where I'm traveling, maybe home from school, so I'm already kind of focused from school and then I'm coming home to do more work. I try not to go on my phone then as well, because otherwise if I sit on the bus for like half an hour and I'm scrolling, I wanna do it for another half hour and another one. So I've actually recently been reading the New Scientist magazines on the bus because it's still something to do with my subjects but it's like it's not reading a textbook so it's not studying so I find that keeps me like thinking and not mindlessly scrolling but still having a bit of a break and finally probably the most important section is how to actually keep focused whilst working so my main thing for this is the app Forest. I think there's a free version now called Flora, maybe? It essentially means you like grow little trees whilst you're locked out of your phone. And I get very emotionally attached to my trees, so nothing is going to make me kill them. So I just have to stay off my phone. And also hiding my phone from myself, which sounds daft because I know exactly where I've put it. Like it's not really hidden, it's just, on top of my bed but I can't see it I can't check if there are any notifications I can't see them pop up on my screen so I'm less likely to be distracted by it also on my laptop I have the chrome extension called momentum and that means every time I open a new tab I see my to-do list so it's kind of like okay I've got a lot to do I probably shouldn't be googling this random question that can wait until later hopefully this video has helped you a bit if you're as good at procrastinating as I am I'm going to try to stop procrastinating and actually put this pile of washing away. So please subscribe and like for more. See you soon.